Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message that I read from the internet regarding rapture and the end times. The message was posted on December 31st, 2022, but it was given on November 29th, 2022 at 4.44 a.m. The title of the message is War, War, War. Here is the message. Write these words, watchman. Sound the alarm. I'm sending my enemies to do my will against your wicked nation. Yes, the grumbling in the hearts of the wicked I see every day. These are the same grants of doubt my people had in the desert when I tried to lead them to the promised land. My church is not ready. Very few are prepared. I will not allow sin to enter my kingdom. Those who struggle must surrender all to me, and I will deliver them. Wrestling is not a sin, because the flesh is stronger than the spirit because most do not feed the Spirit. But my word tells you that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Trials will come, but those who run to me will be delivered. Come to me and examine your heart. I will tell you about my about any sins you may still ha harbor that will keep you out of my kingdom. Then confess and repent of your sin, and I will forgive you and wash you clean. I will set your foot on the straight and narrow path. I will help you every day to keep your attention on me and not on the things of the world that bother you. I want you to be with me, my bread. I'm coming for you. Very few have cleaned the garments of their hearts before me, so they will not stand naked and ashamed when the trumpet is sounded to come up here. I will snatch you from this evil world that hates me. You are mine and I am yours. Be strong and brave in these last hours. Wait for me to renew your strength. All the answers are in my word. Spend time with me and I will strengthen my spirit within you to stand bravely against the enemy within. Your flesh is my enemy, but as I said, my spirit is greater inside. Open your Bible, watchman, and I will give you verses to share. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And then Galatians 3, verse 22, But scripture has locked up everything under the control of sin, so that what was promised being given through faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Galatians 3, 26-27 So in Christ Jesus you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. And the last is Galatians 4, verse 7 So you are no longer a slave but God's child, and since you are his child, God has made you also an higher. Now watchmen, my word of war is a warning to those who have ears to hear that it will come upon this wicked nation swiftly. I will let this nation you live in be completely destroyed. But first you will see the pain of labor increasing like never before. But remember, I am coming for you, my bride. I see those who mock and scoff in my church. They refuse to let go of this world. They falsely preach that you have time on your side and that I will not come for some time. They lure you to sleep your spirits, so you don't feel the urgency of the moment. They were sent from my enemy to disturb my church in this last hour. Yes, it's the last hour. Your time is not my time. Awaken the last few people who have an understanding of time. Tell them the hope you have in me, and I will touch their hearts with my spirit. They will be the last to join my bride in these last days. And in these final hours you are. My watchmen warned of what was to come, but few listened without grumbling. Just like I did with my people who grumbled against me in the desert, they refused to listen and went to take the promised land that I have given them. I will do the same for my church that grumbles at this warning. I look at the hearts of those who do not come to me when a word is given, to see if it is in line with my word. I see those who prefer to ignore my warnings that I speak through willing vessels like this watchman. 
I am telling you the truth. War is coming to your land. It will be an internal war with your brother, with your neighbors, with your family, and with your friends. Did I not say that I came not to bring peace but a sword? Those who choose me will be separated from those who choose this war. You have seen the beginning of this and it will only increase each day. The hour is late and the time is about to be called. When my voice calls my spirit from within you, my bride, you will rise with my spirit. That is why my word tells you that he cannot come until I release my restraint. Then once my restraint is released, this world will see all of hell released from it. And many of those who remain will face certain death. But if they choose not to take his mark on their right hand or forehead, then they will be able to enter heaven with you, my bride. Warn everyone you know about what is about to happen. The seed will be planted in their hearts when they hear. They may be able to do so after I call my bride. But that is not promised to many, for destruction has suddenly come like never before. My bride will be, will be safe in my arms, but those who are left will not. War is coming. I'm coming for you, my bride. Those were the direct words given to me when I obediently got out of bed after opening my sleepy eyes and looking at 4.44 a.m. I struggled at first and argued with the Holy Spirit, telling him he could tell me what he wanted later in the morning. But when I tried to close my eyes again, I felt the anointing and the pull of the Holy Spirit to get up and go to meet the Lord Jesus. I don't know what he wanted to say to me, but the first thing he said was, War, war, war. He said this and then told me to get up from praying and start writing. I then expected something different from what he had given me. He had warned about him sending Russia to destroy this unrepentant nation, but he spoke to me more about the internal war that started first. This post is what he said to share and I share it out of obedience to the title he gave me. I pray it reached the one person the Lord Jesus was trying to reach and it touches their heart. Knowing that he loves them, he is coming and wants us all to be ready for the twinkling of an eye when the trumpet sounds and the Holy Spirit that is in the bride is lifted up. Christ's messengers will be called home before the war on earth, as the nations did before the war began. They recalled their ambassadors. Let's get ready and don't look back like Lot's wife, given to Justin Atkinson, a watchman, until I was called home. That's all the message I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.